Number 47. Much of the gas near the sun is atomic hydrogen. Its temperature would have to be 1.5 times 10 to the 7 Kelvin for the average velocity or root mean square velocity to equal the escape velocity from the sun. What is that velocity? All right. So basically we need a, an equation that relates velocity to temperature, okay, or root mean square velocity. And we have that. We have this. V sub RMS is equal to the square root of 3 multiplied by the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin, all divided by the mass of a single molecule or atom, depending upon what we are talking about. If you're wondering where this equation came from, please check out my general video. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's on kinetic theory of gases. I think you'll find it helpful. Uh, so what I need to do here is, again, they're asking us to solve for velocity. This equation is already solved for velocity, so that's great. All I need to now know is the temperature we're talking about and then the mass of that particular atom or molecule. All right. Now, it's we know the temperature. They gave it to us in Kelvin, so that's good. So we know that. Boltzmann constant is just a memorized value, so we know that. So we are gotta we have to now investigate the mass. Now, it says the gas that we're talking about here is atomic, atomic hydrogen. It doesn't say molecular hydrogen, it says atomic hydrogen. So a molecule of hydrogen gas looks like this, H2. Atomic hydrogen is just H. So what we need to now know is we need to probably use a periodic table in order to figure out the uh, mass here of atomic hydrogen, just H by itself. And if you look it up on the table, it's about one. I'm gonna round here, okay? We're gonna use about one gram per mole. What I now need to do is take this and then convert it into kilograms per atom. Why kilograms? Because you know math, this is physics, so that the masses are in kilograms. Why atom? Because again, the mass in this formula is the mass of a single molecule or a single atom, depending upon what you're talking about. In this case, we're talking about atoms. So one gram we have of hydrogen per one mole, I got to get rid of the grams so they go on the bottom, kilograms go on the top, a thousand grams for every one kilogram, see you later gram. And then I got to get rid of the moles, so since they start on the bottom I have to place them on the top. And now I'm going to go right to atoms, and I realize that the relationship is for every one mole there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And the moles will cancel, leaving me now with kilogram per atom or the mass of a single atom, right? That's basically what we're talking about. So let's calculate now. So the, basically this is just one divided by in parentheses 1000 times then 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And what do we get? And we have 1.66, 1.66 times 10 to the minus uh, 27. And this will then be in kilogram per atom, right? So that's, right, anytime you have per anything here, that's going to be per one of those things. And so this is essentially the mass of a single atom of hydrogen. All we now need to do is plug everything in, right? So this is nice. V sub RMS will be equal to the square root of 3 multiplied by that Boltzmann constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd times that temperature they told us in Kelvin, 1.5 times 10 to the 7th. And then divide that whole thing now by the mass of a single atom, which is about one point. That's a six. 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27. All right, V sub RMS. And now all we need to do is just plug this into the calculator. So we'll do square root of three times then the Boltzmann constant 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd times then the temperature 1.5 times 10 to the fifth. No, 10 to the seventh. Sorry. And then divide that whole thing now by, I'm just going to do the exact value in the calculator. And we get a value of approximately now 6.11. I'm just going to do, eh, I guess I should really do two sig figs over here since that's what was given. I know some of you might say, well, wait a minute, you only use one over here, so shouldn't we use one? Eh, yeah, I guess technically, but honestly, it doesn't matter. This is about 6.1 times 10 to the uh, 345, and that'll be meters per second. Okay, those are the standard units of velocity. There you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Help us out. Subscribe. Please. Begging you, please take care.